What's up y'all? It's been a long time since I did a video and I just moved so I'm in a new place. Uh, I couldn't find the cord for my microphone so hopefully my camera microphone sounds decent. Uh, but that being said, let's get into it. So the last two major dominoes of free agency in the NBA have finally kind of fallen into place. Christian Wood signing with the Lakers and Kelly Oubre allegedly going to sign with the 76ers on a one year deal. I say allegedly because it hasn't been made official yet, but it seems like most everyone agrees that it's going to happen. So I'm gonna talk about it as if it is official. So Kelly Oubre on the 76ers, it's uh, kind of tough to say exactly what it'll be like. We need to see what happens with the James Harden stuff. It seems like trade talks around James Harden have died down. Uh, the Clippers are no longer entertaining trade talks is something that came out. So I'm gonna assume for now that James Harden is going to be a part of this team for this next season, play out his last uh, player option year. Um, so starting lineup, probably gonna be Tyrese Maxey, James Harden, Tobias Harris, duh. I was blanking on Tobias Harris' name, PJ Tucker and Joel Embiid. Um, so that leaves Kelly Oubre being like, kind of like a six man scorer off the bench which I guess is probably a good spot for him. You don't really want him to be a primary scorer in your starting lineup, I wouldn't think. I think that's a, I think that's actually a pretty good role for him, coming off the bench, getting some buckets, shooting some threes. Him and Cork Maz, that's some good shooting depth off the bench, I think. Uh, he's definitely not gonna have as much free reign as he did in Charlotte to, you know, go get 20 points a game. You know, we're not, you know, maybe he'll be putting up 15, 14, 15 points a game, maybe a little more especially depending on what Harden does. Uh, yeah, I think that could be a good situation in uh, Philadelphia for him. I don't know if I believe in Philadelphia. I mean, I'd want to say they're contenders. They've been a great team for quite a while now and they have some good players, but I think this is more of a like, you gotta prove that you're a contender this year for Philadelphia. Like they're not just in that conversation. It's like, at this point, you gotta prove that you're actually a contender, you know? They gotta make it to like Eastern Conference Finals or Finals to like prove that. To me at least, you know. Um, the other major domino that happened that I mentioned was Christian Wood. And if you've watched this uh, channel before at all, you know that I was uh, pretty high on Christian Wood in the past. I've definitely come down a little bit on him. You know, uh, he's still an absolute bucket on offense. I love watching Christian Wood on offense. One of my favorite players to watch on the offensive side at least. Defense is tough, because he's like, he's so bad at defense. But, I hate it, because like, there will be games, there will be like, five minute stretches, where he just like, locks in on defense, and he looks great. Like, I actually went to a Lakers game last year. Uh, or I went to a Dallas Lakers game last year. Uh, and Christian Wood, you know, he was whatever on defense, but then at the end of the game, when it mattered, he was like, locked in, and like he like fell down, hurt his leg, and then like Russell Westbrook was driving to the basket and he like got up real quick and swatted it out. And he was like, and then he went back to being hurt after. Like it was really, it's really strange to watch Christian Wood play. Sometimes he looks like he could be a decent defender, but most of the time he's just so bad. So, you know, getting him to commit to like just kind of playing defense might be a challenge for the Lakers. I think maybe, this is a good spot for him on the Lakers because uh, AD, amazing defender. And you know, Anthony Davis is uh, allegedly, not allegedly, Anthony Davis does not want to play center. He hates playing center. So Christian Wood is a solid pickup. He could play some center for the Lakers. I don't know if he's gonna start. I can't even really think about who else is on the Lakers. I suppose I should look up the roster, right? Let me, let me get back to you real quick. Yeah, honestly, if they want to honor AD's wishes and not play him at center, I don't see how Christian Wood wouldn't be starting. Oh wait, no, they have Jackson Hayes. Maybe Jackson Hayes starts. I'm not, I don't, I don't dislike Jackson Hayes, but I'm just not, I don't really believe in Jackson Hayes' ability on the court that much. I'm sorry, Jackson, don't, don't get mad at me. The only, the one thing that comes to mind when I think about Jackson Hayes is when he didn't get invited to the rookie game and then he, I don't know if it was on Instagram or whatever, he was like, yo, NBA can suck my dick, bro. 
funny guy. Um, but yeah, so Christian would probably get a lot of minutes at center for the Lakers, especially if AD doesn't want to play center. So, and that might be a decent situation. AD playing great defense. Uh, LeBron has gotten, LeBron's a decent defender. Seems like he's playing more defense than he did a few years ago, even though he's gotten older, which is weird. But I think maybe being around LeBron, Anthony Davis, if there if there is a situation they can get Christian Wood to buy in and be a solid defender, I think this is it. Maybe, maybe that's just impossible. Maybe Christian Wood's not gonna be bought in on defense wherever he goes. But if there is a situation, I think this is it. Playing with LeBron James, and then you got Anthony Davis, and who's our coach? Darvin Ham, yeah, whatever. Um, I mean, Darvin Ham's a good coach, but yeah, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, I think that could be a good situation for Christian Wood, if there is a good situation for him, because, you know, I've always given him the benefit of the doubt with off-court stuff, but at a certain point, it's kind of just like, I don't know if I can anymore. And, you know, it seems like defense really isn't his thing. But it's a one-year deal. He might be, you know, trying to prove it. Contract year, one-year deal, vet minimum. He might, he might be locked in. So LeBron James, Anthony Davis, contract year. He's on the vet minimum, you know. I think he's in the perfect spot to show that like, hey, I can do this. And he might be all in for the Lakers this year offense and defense we might see a new Christian Wood and I'm kind of split on that because I love Christian Wood and I want to see him succeed I'm not a huge Lakers fan I don't love the Lakers but I don't hate the Lakers either like don't get me wrong I'm from California seeing the Lakers play would be all right you know uh I'm just not a big Lakers fan. I want to see Austin Reeves do some stuff. I want to see what he can do. I've always liked D'Lo, but you know. Uh, so yeah, I still believe in the upside of Christian Wood a little bit. I don't know if I should. Maybe that's bad on my part, but hey, you know, whatever. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to try to be a little more consistent with these videos. I think I said that in the past, but like, I think I actually really want to do it now. Um, I'm gonna try to come out with these at least every week. I'm gonna try to do it more times than once a week, but that's about it. Kelly Oubre, Chris, Christian Wood, let me know what you think about them in the comments. Uh, consider liking the video if you liked it. Maybe subscribe, it'll help me out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.